KSLA News 12 starts now. All right, thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Warner tonight. Dozens of people out of their homes because of this fire. Massive flames at the Fairfield Oaks condominiums. That's in the South Highland neighborhood of Shreveport. Um, amazingly, no one was hurt. Everyone made it out. Even a couple of rescues to talk about by the Shreveport Fire Department. It's been burning for over three hours now. KSLA News 12's Kenley Hargett live there on the scene where uh, fire crews are still hard at work. We can kind of see part of the apartments there already shelled out. What a day and what a firefight so far, Kenley. What a day, what a firefight. And as bad as this looks right here, the best thing out of all of this, there were no injuries. There were New details tonight in the arrest of a man in Menden who police say fought with him. Part of that arrest captured on camera last Thursday. During the arrest, the video appears to show one officer kick a sus that suspect while four others were struggling to get him in cuffs. The man arrested. Another case that captivated the nation, another arrest caught on camera that led to the death, of course, of George Floyd, a Destiny Patterson in studio with us, where we want to talk a little bit about where that focus turns now. Well, uh, like we said, this is a big moment, and uh, President Biden, he now has made a promise to Floyd's family. Shortly after we learned of that conviction, news broke that a Columbus, Ohio police officer shot and killed a teenager who was in the act of attacking another person with a knife. The police department released body cam video. They did so last night. If you haven't seen it, the video could be disturbing. Not to show the moment that that uh, teen was shot. Police say someone in the area called for help, saying someone with a knife was trying to stab people. This is a breaking news alert from KSLA News 12. Uh, downright terrifying moments all afternoon. Oshner LSU Health Shreveport right now still an active search for a man who reportedly attacked a nurse and possibly another person with a machete inside the hospital. Uh, this has been going on since at least two o'clock today. There was a lockdown in place. No one allowed out. No one allowed in. Lots KSLA News 12 starts with breaking news. Well, two big developments tonight in the shooting death of a Shreveport toddler. A second person has been charged and we now know the little girl's name. We're told three year old Makedra Brown died today after being shot in the head earlier this week. KSLA News 12's Kenley Hargett live outside the very apartment complex in Southwest Shreveport where this shooting happened. And Kenley, let's begin with the uh, latest news this afternoon on this second arrest in this investigation. Doug, the shooter. Thanks for joining us here at five o'clock. The uh, young girl you see here is Maya Patel, five years old, struck in the head by a stray bullet at a hotel on Saturday. Sadly, earlier today, we learned she died from those injuries. Now, police say 34 year old Joseph Lee Smith and another adult male were arguing on Saturday in the parking lot of the Super 8 Hotel in, on Monkhouse Drive. Smith then is accused of firing shots at the other person. A bullet or bullets traveled into a nearby hotel room and hit both Maya and her mother. The latest victim in a string of gun violence that we've seen in the last few weeks, KSLA News 12's Chandler Watkins talked with Ben Raymond today one-on-one -on -one to, to really get his take on what he's seen, the same thing we've seen. Now we're at 22 homicides in Kelly. A wild string of events during a lunchtime rush in Bossier City's East Bank District. A stolen vehicle at a car dealership, followed by a police takedown, and then the death of a man in custody. Louisiana State Police, though, sorting this all for us out tonight. KSL News 12's Taylor Davis, she's been down at the scene for hours. Taylor, you were there just a short time after it happened, a short time after police got on scene and You've talked to a number of people who say they saw part of what happened. KSLA has been listening to your voice, your calls for police transparency on deadly encounters. And tonight we have new information on the death of Tommy McLaughlin Jr. He's a 44 year old man who died in police custody. I've obtained emails between City Councilwoman Lavette Fuller and Shreveport Police Chief Ben Raymond. On May 27th, Fuller asked Chief Raymond about any in-custody deaths during the last 18 months. 